Hi and welcome to UOW Update for Week 11 Autumn Session, I'm James. Gary Bowditch has just been appointed the Director of the new Smart Infrastructure Facility here at UOW and is over the moon with his new role. Well it's a great honour to be here and be part of something that is so unique and globally significant to be looking at infrastructure and to be creating a facility which is going to be something that is the envy of the world. The Smart Infrastructure Building will be a world-class research and training centre designed to address Australia's future infrastructure needs. This is something which is breathtaking in terms of the uniqueness and the size and scale of the opportunity. Mr Bowditch is confident this facility will be at the forefront of research, not just in Australia but also around the world. My job is to execute on that vision and to really, uh, if you like, bring a professionalism and to bring industry to the table so that we have a strong, outward-looking, relevant uh, research facility that can really cut through and help governments and, and banks and, and other private sector organisations do a better job in the delivery of infrastructure in this country and also around the region. Marine scientists at the university are researching the impact fishing has on marine parks in the Batemans Bay area. We're trying to prove to um, the, you know, the general population that we need, to, um, we need to stop fishing so intensely. The study is about making people aware marine life is under threat and something proactive needs to be done. Fish populations are declining rapidly uh, and we need to start somewhere locally where people can see the impacts. Although the majority of fish in the area are on the decline, the researchers have made an unusual discovery. We're finding um, that there's significant uh, increases in snapper, which is a um, highly uh, fished species, uh, which is a good thing. Among the discoveries is a rare prehistoric seven-gilled shark, normally seen in the cooler waters. They've been coming into the park. We haven't seen them in, in other years. We've only recently seen them. And, uh, and they're in great abundance. Photographing Paphos Theatre, an art exhibition by UOW artist and photographer Diane Goodman, is on display in the Creative Arts Building. I had to develop a system that was really rigorous in the way that I archived the files so I would know where they fitted. And then I used Photoshop to stitch them in rows and then stitch them into the grid. And that's what the big map is that you see at the end of the gallery space. The exhibition digitally captures the remains of the ancient Greco-Roman theatre in Cyprus through the lens of Goodman's camera. The artworks on display combine contemporary and ancient forms of archaeology to bring to life what was once the great theatre of Paphos. What I've tried to do is bridge this science of archaeology with the visual arts of digital photography. So I guess why I'd encourage them to come and see the exhibition is because it's not probably the type of exhibition that they may have seen before. The project is the result of four years hard work and research and is on show till May 28th. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about what I finally achieved and I just love seeing the map of Paphos at the end of the theatre. Where would you go with a thousand dollar travel voucher? The university is offering you a wad of cash to use anywhere in the world. Well how do you do it? The 2010 student questionnaire has opened and is asking for your suggestions on ways to improve our university. It's open until the 4th of June. Like I said, the university values your feedback. We need to know what we can do to improve the experience for students and we take it very seriously. On the back of last year's response to the survey, organisers are hoping for an even bigger participation by students and are urging everyone to take part. We had our highest response rate which was 28% which is a great response rate for an online survey and I'd really love to achieve that again this year. So I'd love everyone to get out there. First year commerce students have had a chance to experience the marketing practices of a real world business in a lunchtime exhibition in the McKinnon building. Um, they're looking at the practices of good, the bad and the ugly. So they're not just, um, they're being asked to take a step back, not just accept as is what they see on advertisements, but look closer in terms of the ingredients that are there. Over 500 students taking the opportunity to display their own advertisements to the university's broader community. Many teams take a pride because it is a creative exercise as well. At the same time, they can make it professionally as an assessment because it is an assessment task. Um, others, they have a, a laid back thing and I think that fits in a normal curve. It's really good to see everyone's put a good um, effort into all their posters and um, yeah, it's great to see. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Everyone seems to be enjoying their time, seeing different posters, different ideas. You may have noticed more and more national and international artists are choosing our uni for live gigs. 
Blue Juice, Angus and Julia Stone and Lisa Mitchell are some of the artists who have performed to packed out crowds in the last month. Uh, I think that they really like the community feel to it. It's not quite the Sydney but it's still got that really good music base. With cheap tickets, cheap drinks and sell out crowds, event organisers are finding students can easily afford these great shows. It's a really good way for them to come out and have a cheap night out that get to know each other really well and base some new friendships and yeah, you know, just have a really good time with some students that have something in common. So if you haven't managed to get along to any of the shows, there are plenty listed on the uni website. And that is UOW Update for week 11. I'm James Cooper. From all of us at UOW TV, have a great week.